back, but you take him because it's like he's got value all year. We can use him during the week preparing. And so he's like he's like half quarterback, half receiver, but he's got incredible value to the program and you, you scholarship him. In the NFL, you can't do that. You can't just keep guys maybe on a scout team somewhere. Part of the part of the difficulty of Lamar is you can't replicate it at practice. And you are what you habitually do. So if you're practicing against a guy that is significantly slower than Lamar Jackson, and it's also like what we were talking about earlier, it's almost impossible for defenses, even great defenses, to prepare for athletic quarterbacks. It's not traditionally how how defenses are set up to defend. It's like if you can if you can go all in on protecting the run, and you better hope that they're not a, they're not going to kill you over the top. And I mean that is, has been a question of Lamar throughout his career so far. But if you got a guy that does both, like there's there's really nothing you can do. You can just hope that your offense can score as much as they are. So the Dolphins have their second matchup with the Patriots this season on Sunday. It'll be Tua's first time against them as a starter, and Brian Flores thinks this will be a good test for the rookie. I don't think there's any way he's, he's seen everything he's likely to see. He's just you know, so young in his career. Look, I mean, it's going to be a, a very big challenge, you know, not, not only for Tua, but our entire offense, our, our, entire, our entire team. You know, Bill Belichick loves a good young quarterback matchup. This is one of my favorite bets in a long time, and I'm not going to tell you which way I'm going, but I've got a I've got a real strong belief on this game for a couple of reasons. So I, this is part of my blazing five. Oh, it is a blazing five. It's pick. a blazing five pick, and I'll just I'll just leave it at that. It's a blazing okay. five. Pick. Well, we know Bill Belichick is 21 and five against rookie quarterbacks yep. with the Patriots. They are eight and zero against rookie quarterbacks since 2015. This is a very, very big game for the Dolphins. Obviously, the Patriots are still technically alive, but uh, this is a bigger game for the Dolphins as they are in the seventh seed right now and in the wild card. They have the Patriots this weekend, then they're at the Raiders and at the Bills. So, so they really they need to win out. The Ravens are in the hunt, eight and five. Raiders play Thursday. Who do the Browns the play? Who, 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 um, it, uh, for the record. Very, very strong weekend of NFL numbers. Now, I said this. The Browns play the Giants on Sunday night. Giants played their worst game of the year. Watch the Giants Sunday night at home. Bad, bad mood. It's very interesting. This this, This is a very important weekend, starting with Thursday night. Browns are on a short week. Come off a highly emotional game. Giants are ticked. Just saying, keep your eye on that one. Joy with the news. Well, that's the news. And thanks for stopping by. The Herd Lie News. Uh, I got to tell you, we have an, sometimes there's rumors and sometimes there's rumors that make sense. Peter King was talking about in his column, this, this is a rumor with legs, that Matt Stafford and the Patriots may end up working. It's very interesting because the Patriots have a ton of cap space next year. They're paying none of their offensive players. And Matt, for a year, is going to cost you 35, and then he comes down to 28. So, you know, Belichick's about 68, 69 years old. Does he want to draft Zach Wilson and cross his fingers he works, or does he want to get Matt Stafford? This feels – Matt Stafford, first of all, completes 63% of his passes in his career. It's gotten better in recent years as the game's become more offensive. It's closer to 64 and a half. He's got a 90 passer rating and two times as many touchdowns as picks. Matt also has the money, and he's got the stats. Matt wants to win. Matt Stafford wants to win. I would compare this to Kevin Garant, uh, Garnett. Kevin Garnett had the money and the stats, but we never talked about him on the show because he wasn't a winner. And he went from a losing culture with the T-Wolves to the Celtics, and now when we think of Kevin Garnett, we think he's a winning basketball player. Matt Stafford's got about four to five years left to play. He's still 32. Belichick's got about four to five years to coach. This makes a lot of sense, is that this is a, a, a microwavable meal here. This is a guy that's good, a guy that just needs... The, the only bad number with Matt Stafford in his career, 74 wins, 84 losses. That's corrected. All those close losses become close wins with Belichick, who's certainly worth three to five points a game. So I, this is one that's got legs. Kevin Garnett... Stats and money, losing player. Went to the Celtics, he had all three. I think this makes a ton of sense for Belichick and a ton of sense. And New England's got, I think they have more cap space than anybody in the league next year. 
I think it's them or the Jets. They got a ton of cap space. Going to the grocery store is on everybody's list. Uh, the holidays, it's more jam than ever. And it's also, they say grocery stores are one of the places you can get COVID to a higher percentage. That's why Butcher Box is great. Butcher Box delivers to your door overnight fresh protein, seafood, salmon, and scallops. And they also work directly with farms who are into the environment and sustainability and caring for animals. It's organic chicken. It's 100% grass-fed, grass-finished beef. Fresh-caught seafood delivered overnight to your door. Go to their websites if you're not a chef but a griller. Lots of recipes you can follow. And right now, if you sign up at butcherbox.com slash herd. For a limited time, new members get free bacon for the life of your membership. One pack of bacon free in every box. ButcherBox.com delivered to you, to your door. Free shipping as always. ButcherBox.com slash herd. People label the goat or this guy's the goat of this, this guy's the goat of that. It used to be greatest of all time is one person, Mm -hmm. right? But now, because there's way too many goats, I think you have to break it out into specific categories. Best winner of all time, person who's won the most championships, best player, you know, which involves talent and ability and what you did with it, most talented player, you know. That'd probably be you. Best thrower of the football. Like, That's probably you. There's all these mm-hmm. different ways you can break that out. No, nobody does that. Aaron, there's one goat, it's Brady, it's not you. Nobody breaks it up like that you want us to nobody breaks it up like that Aaron Michael Jordan's the goat Wayne Gretzky's the go he's like the chosen one or what do they call him the great one he's just the go and then there's like Michael and there's Brady and then there's Gretzky and and it was like Pele no nobody Aaron is doing that I will though say of the 12 greatest quarterbacks I've ever seen um, I, I've always looked at them differently based on a lot of factors. I, I would say uh, of like the 12 best quarterbacks I've ever seen, I, I mean, this is the, here's the three groups. I would put them in the super talented. And to me, that is, that is Favre, Marino, Rogers, Elway. Some won a championship, some didn't, some won a couple. God gave them something that nobody else had. Arm strength, release, it's just different looking. Favre, Marino, Rogers, Elway. It just looks different. I would say there's the super winners. They also had talent, but maybe it was their leadership, their coach. They just played in big games forever, and they seemed to win a lot of them. Bradshaw, Aikman, Brady, Montana. And then I would classify the super unique. Breeze is the most accurate thrower of the football I have ever seen. Russell Wilson's the single greatest playmaker. Peyton Manning changed the game intellectually. He was a coach on the field. And then Steve Young was a precursor to Russell Wilson. They're just unique. They may not have all the championships. They don't have the raw talent of Marino. They're maybe not as, but there's something there. It's a little talent, a little leadership, a little winning. And I've never seen another quarterback I compared to Peyton, ever. It's just the way he played. Now, I will say this. Patrick Mahomes is the only quarterback I've ever seen that could be in all three of those. He's it. Not saying he's going to be. And I, I need to see. We're really, you know, he's been here. He's been at the party for about an hour and a half. Let's, let's, let's see a couple more years. He's the only quarterback that he's unique. Left-handed throws, sidearm, talent. It's, it's, 